Uh, hey YouTube, I came to do this look for y'all today. I don't have any foundation or nothing on my face yet. And I'm finna do my eyes first. And I'm gonna be using this Napoleon Quad. And this Prismatic Eye Quad number five. And I already got on this two face shadow insurance. I already got on two face shadow insurance. So I'm finna use Indian Wood Paint Pot. Put that on both of my lids, just on the lid, just a little bit up into the crease, not much. And also, you want to place some of that color in your tear duct area. And uh, put some on the other one in the tear duct area as well. And um, I'm going to take a shader brush and dip it in this first. And dip it in this color right here, this first color. And place that all over my lid. Well, not all over my lid. My bad, just in the inner corner of your eye. The inner third of your eye. Just right there. I'm gonna pack that color on. And then I'm gonna do the other side as well. You could take it up to in your crease, like can you see in this area right here? To your crease. And just keep on packing on the color much color as you need because this is like a very like sheer color and you have to pack it on to get the desired effect that you want and like I'm going to dip in this second color right here right here and I'm going to put that like basically not on top but on the top of where the first color ended I'm going to put that right on top of it see if you can see that up to your crease and just you know pat on as much as you like or you know how dark you want the color to be so I'm just gonna pat it on some more on top of it and I'm gonna flip the brush to the other side and drag the other the first color I laid down over into that color like that and I'm gonna do the other eye just the same Put it right on top of the edge of that color. And take it over. And flip your brush, do the same thing, and just take the color over to blend the colors together evenly. And then I'm going to take the same brush. And go back in this first color right here and run it on the under the inside of my waterline right here. On my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna do it the same on the other side. And I'm gonna dip in the, the second color that we used. And do the same. And then I'm going to put the brush down and get um, uh, another brush, my 217. And this dark color right here is so doggone pretty. It reminds me of uh, 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 Beauty Mark, but a prettier version of Beauty Mark. So I'm going to um, dip my brush in that and put that on the outer corner of my eyes up to the crease and you can make this dark as you want it by adding a little black if you want to but I don't want to add no black and I like the darkness of this color so I'm just going to leave it with this color like it is without the black and just blend it and then I'm going to dip it in the color again and go on the other side and do the same thing. 
and just blend it up into the crease but not too high up but you know kind of like keep it like directly in your crease but just a little bit past your crease not much just a little bit and just blend it and I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend the color out some more Just blend it. Keep blending. Just blend. Like as you can tell, I am haven't filled in my brows or none of that yet, cause I want to do my eyes first and go ahead and get that out the way, and then do my foundation, and then just keep blending till you get it blended out like how you want it. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to blend the other eye. Like that. And then I'm going to take a little, let's see how you use this little flat shader brush. Um, see what the number rubbed out, but it's a MAC brush. I know a lot of you guys that see it probably already know what the brush, number the brush is. And I'm just going to dip it in that purple color and run it under my water in my lash line. And be sure that you connect it to that top color on your lid right there. And I'm going to dip it in it again and go on the other side. Make sure I connect it. And then the brush that I use, the shader brush that I already got the color on it, I'm just going to take it and just run it like almost on top of that purplish color, but not on it. And just to blend it out, to blend it in with the other colors. Like that. Then I'm going to take a 252 and go in this color right here. And use as a highlight. And I really like um, Napoleon products. I've been buying a lot of that too. So I really like them. And I don't regret buying them. And they are kind of. Well I wouldn't say they pricey. I think this was like 35 bucks. I'm not for sure. You can like go to Sephora or Ulta or wherever. Ulta because I got this at Ulta and see how much it is but I like them I like how they eyeshadows they are very soft and pretty and I'm gonna continue to get them because I like them and I want too much spend a lot of money on the lip glosses because they like thin and I don't like the consistency of it on your lips but anyway I'll do a review on that too and just do your highlight and that's it for this look I'm going to use uh, my voluminous million lashes I said millionaire on the last video because they got a video I mean a uh, mascara out called millionaire lashes too but I'm going to use this and I'm going to curl my lashes and use this buxom eyeliner again and leather it and the gloss I'm going to put on is by MAC. It's called Amber Rose. I'll go ahead and pop that on real quick so you can see how pretty it is. It kind of like goes with the eye look. So that's it. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll be back if I keep living in the Lord. So the same with another video for you guys. Peace.